what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy serrano and today we're going to be doing a quick look at the htc desire 20 pro after about one year and if you're a huge fan of budget technology like myself then consider subscribing consider joining and getting notified for more videos just like this and uh, be becoming part of the crew but we're going to be jumping right into this device and we're going to be talking about battery life we're going to be talking about the performance on it. We're also going to be talking about how is the audio quality, right? I have headphones, earbuds, and uh, some some inexpensive ones and some, you know, some cheaper, some some higher priced ones as well. So we can test out the wired mode on, 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 on the audio as well as Bluetooth, as well as some of the gaming performance. But overall, this device is really nice. It's got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is a huge battery for this device. And it's running Android 10, it's HTC Desire 20 Pro. And HTC did make this phone last year. They also followed, up, followed it up with the HTC Desire 21 5G, the, the Pro 5G. So that's actually a, another phone that you can probably check out as well. They did follow it up, so they have a phone in 2021 as well, if you want to go ahead and check that out. But I'm going to leave a link down below for the HTC Desire 21 Pro, the cheapest link. I mean the 20 Pro, the one that I have right here. And this is that really nice color that it does have to it. It has a 48 megapixel in the rear. 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel for macro, two, another 2 megapixel for portrait. And then on the front of this device, we do have a 25 megapixel camera. So we get a lot of sensors on this device. And when it comes to basically taking photos on this device, one thing I notice is it does have a pretty fast camera set up, right? So we do get a nice stock camera on this device, HTC. And Overall, let me just take a selfie and I'll show you what that looks like right now in low light. All right, so that actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. And you can see that that, that has a lot of detail to it. It's a really nice picture just to, for pointing and shooting. So I definitely think that's a pretty cool camera on the front with the 25 megapixel. We also do have, you know, um, when you go to the video mode, on the front right they're going to give you full hd and you know you, you can get a different options here in the camera for qr scanner macro panorama wide angle as well so just a lot of cool features in the camera and over time after using this device for about a year now a lot of people want to know has the battery kind of uh, depreciated has it slowed down well I've been using this device since this morning, about 10, 10 a.m., right? And, you know, I go into the battery percentage option right here, and it does say I have 26%. It is 233 a.m., you know, I, I kind of am a night owl, but, you know, this device does have plenty of juice on it right now. So you can see right here, if we go into battery, which I'm going to do right now, and you can see we did have four hours and a half screen on time 12 hours ago. So it does say that it should be good till 6.30 a.m., you know? So that's it. that's actually a really good battery life. The AC is about to come on. So if you hear something come on, that is the AC. But let's just uh, pair it to a pair of earbuds. And when it comes to the overall loudness of this phone, it's not going to be like... It doesn't have like any extra audio things that you can actually deal with, right? So let's go into audio. And you go into, you have to go into sound and go all the way down. And then basically all you get is this option right here. They don't give you any extra features like a Dolby audio or anything like that. But when it comes to pairing like a pair of earbuds to this thing, pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. These are the dime light gray earbuds. So if I take these out, they automatically pair up. And that's pretty quick. It does tell you the battery percentage on this device as well. You get call forwarding as well on this guy, which is pretty cool. And when it comes to the overall listening quality of like listening to music, let me just see. Like 
like you don't even want to put it all the way up because it gets really loud on this phone and these are like the, the the skull candies which are like $19 I'll leave the cheapest link down below but um yeah these is the audio quality on here gets really loud so even on a pair of earbuds that are $19 you still are able to listen to your music um, you know at a decent amount of volume you you pretty much can't put it all the way up at the full volume because then it'll you know kind of blast your ears but Overall, the screen display that we're looking at is pretty good when it comes to the display, right? 1080 by 2340 Full HD Plus display. Let me turn off dark mode so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And you do get NFC on this device, right? So you're going to get NFC. You're going to be able to do like mobile payments. You're also going to be able to, you know, do dark mode. They have a screencast on this device as well, which is cool. And I, I'm getting 4G uh, on this device with voice over LTE. And, um, you know, that's pretty cool as well. I really like that because the network speeds are pretty good, but I'm connected to the Wi-Fi as we speak. And if I swipe down, you can see it says T-Mobile at the top right hand corner. So I am on Mint Mobile right now on the T-Mobile network. And the overall speed when it comes to opening apps, as you can see, that's Spotify. Let's jump into Facebook. That opens up pretty quick, right? And then you can jump into, I don't know, Messenger, right? And you get all t get to your messages. And then we can jump into like, uh, I don't know, Instagram. And you see I have 24%. I've been using this device pretty much all day long. And let's watch some stories, right? We had a... I don't want to watch a live stream, but oh wow, I don't even know if I could put put that on my channel. That's crazy. So everything looks pretty good as far as the scrolling speeds. This is a 60 hertz display, so it's not going to be like a 90 hertz. But we are getting the Snapdragon 665 on here. So if we open up PUBG, what's really cool is we do have 6 gigabytes of RAM on this device. 396 for the PPI, 11 nanometer processing chip with the Adreno 610 with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. And what's really cool is it does have the light sensor, accelerometer, gyroscope, as well as the gravity sensor and compass as well. So when it comes to the graphics, when you're playing video games on the HTC Desire 20 Pro, uh, it has the Snapdragon 662. So you can see the loading time is pretty decent on here when it's connected to like Wi-Fi. And it, I do have my SIM card in here, just to be 100% with you. I've been using this device for a few days now. And the battery life has been great. It's been lasting me about one and a half days based on my usage, because I tend to watch a lot of movies. So that will actually drain the battery quicker when you actually watch a lot of movies. But let me just show you the graphics on here. Go up to right here. You can see in graphics, it goes up to high for the frame rate. Okay guys, so we're going to jump right into the gameplay on PUBG. And really good graphics so far. I think I got really good controls. Yeah, so basically the controls will work pretty good. So far the graphics are pretty nice. And this is the chip that they use on a lot of Moto phones as well, Motorola phones. So definitely a very familiar chipset on this device. I right, didn't focus in on one guy right there. So let's just try to catch up real quick. Let me get at least some fresh blood. All right, so basically, yeah, the graphics on here do work really well. I'm gonna close that. You can see we, what's really cool is you do get that option to actually use the device 
in landscape or po portrait mode when you tilt it. I really like that feature about this device. It's something that's pretty cool and the phone does get plenty bright. It has really good viewing angles when you look at it like on a on an angle so it doesn't lose like the texture of the display or anything like that. So that's really good as well. So, you know, I'm really enjoying this device right now. Um, after a year, it has 10 watts fast charging, but it does charge pretty decently when it comes to the charge. And I really don't like when you have to do the 30 watts sometimes because it will uh, deteriorate, deteriorate, deteriorate the battery a little bit more than if, than if it's a slow charge. So that's one thing about slow charging phones is that the battery will usually have a better lifespan and one of the things that's really cool is this device does also have, um, I forgot to mention, when you go into the video mode, you have 4K. So you have 4K on this device, right? And full HD as well. So that's crazy. And then if you want to zoom in, you know, it does give you like a four times zoom. So just to give you a perspective of how that looks, this is how close it is, right? Look up and, um, that's like a microscope pretty much. Let me just take a picture of that. So for the video, it's four times, but what about the picture? So I actually locked the exposure right there. So you know you can do that you can also multitask on here and do split screen right long hold down get to your split screen menu let's do chrome oh wait spotify's right here so i'll probably just play some some music right now with the headphones in just a second but let me know what you guys think about the htc desire 20 pro after like a year i definitely think it's held up really well and you could probably want to know, does it get software updates, right? Well, when I go into uh, security on this device and when I click security update, right? I go to check and um, let me see what it says. It says Android 10, November, 2020. So that's actually pretty old but we are on august 1st google play which 2021 so that's that's actually pretty recent right here and you can always update that and get the latest software updates from here um instead of using this one which is less reliable for updates but considering that htc Des De uh, desire phones kind of are in collaboration with google in some kind of way you know, I would expect more updates on this device in the future, but, and the storage space on this device is pretty crazy. We do get about 128 gigabytes of internal storage and 40 is used so far. I have a lot of games installed on here. So that's pretty cool that you can have so many games and apps on here. Every single app can fit. And I don't even have the SD card yet and expansion and storage, which can go up to a one terabyte with the six gigabytes coupled with the 128 and expansion up to one terabyte. That's pretty crazy, right? But let me know what you guys think about the HTC Desire 20, a 20 Pro. Um, should you, you know what I'm saying? What do you think about it? Should, should you consider getting this device? I would probably say, yeah, it's a pretty cool device. If you want, if you're a big fan of HTC and you just wanna, you know, step up from one of the older devices that you had from maybe back in maybe two years ago, three years ago. This is still a good device in 2021 with the August 21, 2021 security update. But I'm going to get right back with you. I'm going to show up in the comment section and um, answer any questions you do have. And um, I'll get right back with you later. Peace.